Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Brag from Brag Yeah. Hey. And Ben from Nolan TCG. Low energy podcast. Yeah. What do you mean? I came in so high energy. Did you? Yeah. No, it's lower than usual. Which I'm, I'm all for. I can take it higher. No, please don't. <laughs> I'll turn it up to 11. Uh, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh! Brag? Just make 10 louder. Didn't say anything. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're all right. Master Jewel sucked. Got the rest of the Jewel pass out of the way. Oh, I Did you mean... click the button and claim your stuff? I still need to do that. That's a good question. If you bought another battle pass and didn't claim any of it, I swear to God. I still need to do mine. I'm at like 40 something. And it's like th- a month left? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I don't have the energy to play it. No. Nah. It's because you're too busy on Duel Links. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spoilers, man. Spoilers. Uh, yeah, that, the Duel Links Rush Jewels is back on where I'm at. Not very good, though. God, it is so microtransaction heavy. I know I say this every time we go around, but yeah, it just does feel like those old games where it's like, oh my god, you just want so much of my money. I like Master Jewel is like, oh, here's a lot of cards. Uh, you may yeah. not want some of them, but you can craft, uh, decraft those to craft the ones you want. Yeah. Yeah, well... It's very rough. Yeah. But we'll, we'll hang in there. We'll make it work. Also, just... It isn't... You can just lose just because. You can do everything right. I mean, I guess that's Yu-Gi-Oh, really. Yeah. You just lose because. But this time there's no hand traps. It's just... Oh. I mean, oh, I've just, you know, tribute to the doomed my own monster. But that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, they don't, um, they don't prioritize, uh, the, they, when they go left to right, it's your monsters, their monsters. Okay. So I just click the first seven witches I saw. Ah. Uh, okay. Why well, um, would it prioritize mine for a monster destruction effect? Shouldn't it be? Maybe you're playing Unchained. <laughs> you know, you know what? That is fair. Yeah. Yep. Just got to keep it one way. Uh. Yeah, that was about it. And I've been doing the same thing uh, pretty much all day today. I have been grinding uh, Duel Links after my 1,470 whatever fucking packet download was. Mm-hmm. So like, you know how when you normally log on to Duel Links, it's like, you have 10 packets to download. I mean, like I nod like I know, I actually have no idea. Okay, well that normally happens. Uh, when I logged on, I had 4,070. Oh, sorry. That's a yeah. lot. Well, sorry, 1,470. Sorry. Not that, not that much. It's 1,470. But that took a while. Like, I put it on and then maybe two hours later it was done. I was like, oh, this is bad. Maybe we shouldn't do it at the same time that the streams are on. Actually, no, you would have downloaded, you would have started downloading at the end of the stream, right? No, I put it on while we were watching the stream. Well, yeah. Because I, I put it on... Then went and had to hang my washing out, came back and it was like 200 packets through and I was like, oh, this is going to take think, a while. Because it seems like you do. Do you think that the advertising on stream is mm-hmm. so powerful for Duel Links well, why that I everyone it. is just like, oh, yeah. <gasps> yeah, well, it's, 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 they went, oh, wait, you got all this free stuff to redeem. I'm like, oh, yeah, true. I'll do that now. I ran into the issue of uh, I can't redeem some of it because I just haven't unlocked Link World. So yeah. I have all of these Link related things that it's like, Unlock Link World to reclaim, and I was like, I don't want. There's no links in Rush Duel. I'm all yeah. maximum summons now, which my god, I the maximum summons are just so like where they just go. Oh, okay, they just fluked into the three of them. Cool. Yeah. Still does attribute to the Doom though, so yeah. As long as it targets the right monster. Well, in that case, it's pretty hard to miss the three merged <laughs> monsters. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> I, uh, uh, what are you playing in it? Just, just random seven roads. Just playing. So this is this is my first of my gripes on how microtransactional this game is. So, the skill that gives you seven roads in your deck, you can't play an effect monster that's level six or higher. Mm-hmm. So you can't put in the other one, the multi strike dragon, in with. The dual skill you get. Just spend all the free gems on the selection packs and you just pull seven rows. I did that. And I ran out of gems. And you didn't pull seven rows? I pulled them in the second last pack. Oh, that's rough. I was like, oh. Because I was like, originally pretty chill. I was like, oh, it's fine. It's the selection pack's going to be here for a while. And then I checked and I was like, it expires tomorrow. Yeah. I need to do this now. Yeah. 
So I spent uh, most of the day just auto dueling and then leveling up the world and auto dueling some more, hey. leveling up the world, grinding gems. Imagine Master Jewel was like that. It was like, oh, by the way, you can't get Snake Eyes tomorrow. Yeah. Like, and also you've got to pay actual money. Yeah. Like I considered it and then looked at like the money to what you get ratio and was like, I forgot this is so bad. Do you think that given the transactional basis of it and like how it's vastly more expensive, whether it be time or money, to craft stuff in there than it is Master Duel? Craft? It, uh, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't care about the terminology. Shut up. Oh, you just buy packs. You can't craft. You can't. Yeah, I don't care. I don't well, care. You, you literally just buy packs. Can't given, craft. given that, you can craft. do you yeah, think comments. that if it weren't for the fact that Rush Duels has been added into Duel Links, that it would still be going? It shouldn't be going. Oh, well, I think they finished I, Link World. They ran out of things. I think that, Actually, yeah. they just released Boral Sword Dragon. You told me this. Yeah. I think that's insane for them to have released Boral Sword Dragon into Duel Links. I thought it was insane when they released uh, Mech Knights. Yeah. Because you couldn't choose not to put things in columns. <laughs> yeah. Granted, you started with, like, green and orange, but, you know. Eventually, Them's the breaks. <laughs> There's a lot that's like, this is surprising that this is here. Can we just get a Rush Jewel client in the vein of Master Jewel, please? Then thank you. Oh, please, never. I anyway, really don't think... No, that. not... You, well, you can't... I mean, I would... So let's play Rush Jewel's in Master Jewel. If they had it in Master Jewel, I'd be pretty annoyed, though, because, you know, it's called Master Jewel. Yeah? Not Rush Jewel. Speed Duel. You can't be a master in Rush things. That's just stupid. I had forgotten that they'd changed the terminology in the game from yeah, being yeah. Duel Links to Rush to Speed Duel. Yeah. And I've got the thing on the bingo sheet saying, play three Speed Duels. I was like, eh? Yeah. <laughs> What is this shit? I'm not, I don't want to go to my local game store and play Speed Jewels. <laughs> Just play it here in the apartment. Uh, uh, but yeah, in the physical card game, what'd you get up to? Uh, so we had our OTS championships today. We did. Um, I came third. You did. Although I won. And why did you win? Because I got really good cards from my packs. Including? Uh, I got the Quarter Century IP. Oh, nice. And I got the Ulti Chaos Angel. Hmm. So I was like, there's something else you pulled that was decent. I can't remember what it was though. Um, the access code in collectors. Oh yeah, sure. And ulti. you gave that away anyway. <laughs> yeah. Gave it away. I was like, don't even need it. Any I'm super, a man of the people. Any super illusion monsters pulled? Any? any no. Any? No, 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 no. I got yet another copy of, um, I want to say happy memory. I will be honest. I pulled one the other week and I was like, Brad probably needs this. <laughs> to but I would have to put it in my deck box. <laughs> You stood in the bin? Yeah. We should be able to get it from locals this week. <laughs> It'll be a case of just being like... Because everyone... I, I get being the comments, idiot. I get being the commons, but being the supers from promos, like, these could all be worth, like, $3 one day. Yeah. So of all the people then, that quote us on the money the cards are worth... Yeah, I like my cards being worth something. Doesn't mean I'm going to sell them. They're not worth anything until you sell them. It'll be worth something to my descendants. You need to procreate in order for that to happen. Yeah, damn. So anyway, I uh, <laughs> on Tuesday night played the deck that I played today. Almost card for card, except it changed three cards on my sideboard, which in the end didn't matter. Um, didn't on, Tuesday, on Tuesday night, no, it didn't matter. Uh -huh. Well, it did matter because the cards I took out were useful and the cards I put in were not. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, what I end on? Yeah, I only won one game on Tuesday night, and I was like, you know what, I'm still going to play this deck because the deck is good. I think I just got <laughs> ratio. You're all just bad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then today I win next one. So I'll take that. Um, considering I was half asleep and barely paying attention because all I could think of was you know, I need to do more auto duels right now so that I can get some gems. Um, but yeah, it all worked out in the end. And I got my invite again. But that's not what matters. What matters is that I got cards from packs that I can sell for money. I get no hand downs for OTSs makes sense because getting hand downs for like those type of events is disgusting. Mm. So I get I, I kind of see why they went no hand downs, but I just feel like at the bigger tournaments it could have been nice. Yeah, like a, a, a hand down at nationals or with states, sorry, makes sense. Not so much a random tournament at a store in which. What was he playing again? Runic Stun. Tom. 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 He did well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he did. And I guess he go to New Zealand where he probably won't do well. 
Is he even going to play? Uh, uh, maybe not. Oh, we have to do over unders. He'll on probably round, lose the first two rounds, sell the deck, and then I don't know. Is there a con- is there a casino in New Zealand? I feel like that's not something they've made it to yet. Gambling's not legal. Yeah, they don't like. Then they're not big on the gambling. Uh, big well, on marijuana, the gambling. not big on gambling. Damn, I half hate New Zealand. <laughs> uh so my week. Um, so I have still been on Horace Dunn because I don't want to think right now. Um, I got some extra cards changed out my so, sorry. extra deck in my side deck. So, I'm in the middle of my sentence, so how about you fucking wait? I just thought of something quick. Do you reckon we're going to get demonetized because I said a drug? Taking bets. It's just a plan. Taking bets. It is just a plan, Jake. Comment below if you got any ads on this. Yeah. Um, yeah, so changed up a few cards in the main deck for consistency. Changed up the extra deck to add cards that probably won't get played, but they're there in case. Um, it's a lot of what that extra deck is to be honest Rank eight. uh yeah, yeah yeah a lot of those a couple of links um and then changed up the side deck as well um still a garbage side deck because i originally gone in with one idea realized i didn't have the cards for that idea and then just sort of chucked some stuff in yeah with a bunch yeah. of one cards and no thrusts no no no. i had the thrusts i had the thrusts and all the one cards they were all there the idea was to put ultimate slayer in with like extra deck targets for everything so that I could go second, awesome slay, bounce some stuff, get some value, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, that bounces. Yeah, it doesn't destroy you. Bounce. Bounce, bounce, bounce. I, it's at this moment, moment, moment <coughs> um, that I've realized that my ultimate slay package is just sitting on my desk. Mm-hmm. And I very much, every time I look at it, I go, I need to put this in a binder, or I'm going to lose this. Nope, still no. Yeah, more turn up now. It's, yeah, well, that's that's the thing. I've like opened a fair bit of the rarity collection. I don't have any ultimate slaves. No. Oh. Sorry, I have one ultimate slave, but that was the original one from the original set. I pulled that... the triple P today. It was a super rare. I was like, ooh, ooh, Ugh. ooh. Yeah, I like the idea of that. that sounds disgusting. <laughs> I can play this garbage. Hey. Um, so yeah, my day to day, uh, I went X2 in the end, uh, Ben, even though he had his invite, still, like, fucking thwacked me for no reason, um, but other than that, my other matches were fine, uh, Ubel did Ubel things, uh, turns out they can play under skill drain better than what, um, Horace can, mm-hmm. um, I versed Goblin Bikers in round two, uh, Happy is MVP of Horace, because he just recycles things. Happy's just already MVP anyway. Happy, very good. Yeah. Dwum Fwet, sometimes good. Terrible uh, song, though. The Bird, bad. The Wim Fwet, the Wim Fwet, the Wim Fwet, the Wim Fwet. That's the, too close, we're getting sued. The Bird is real bad. Well, not real bad, it's just not real good. Yeah. You don't well, want a royal rare of it? Oh, in Master Duel, if you can give it to me. When when the, when will I do trades in Master Duel? God, the, like, the economy was so crazy. The economy's already, like, you can get whatever. You no, can't get in the Royal, Royal Rares. Oh, wait, yeah. I've just realised that people would be able to just list them on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That's why it's not Factory. available. Yeah, yeah. Um, Good old Pokemon days. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what was my third? Oh, uh, third game was Tenpai. Uh, he played no Tenpai cards whatsoever. Um, well, you'd but, love to see it. Yeah, it was great for me. I mean, played every other hand trap that he could get his hands on. Um, but yeah, other than that, it was fine. Uh, and then, yeah, lost to Ben playing Melodious Snake Eyes in the final, uh, because of things. Uh, he activated Secret Village, had Skill Drain, and I was like, normal summon. He negated it, and I was like, link into, um, Anima. Anima. Yeah. Activate Duster. Yeah. <laughs> like, the awkward part. What like, can you do? So I, like, drew Ash for turn and was well, like, thing is, oh, this would have been good last turn. And then Jake's follow-up was him said he discard, and I was like, this Ash is great. The annoying thing is I pitched a deck lockdown, so I should have just activated, like, the deck lockdown. activated deck lockdown and just started punching. But anyway. What happens if you lose your spellcasters? They just updated that page. Spoilers, the news just changed. Yes, speaking of which, we will uh, begin with some news. Uh, from Marcinal, we have an upcoming ban list. Uh, so this one is set to come into effect as of the 7th of June. So next... Saturday? Friday. I should really play on my cards before they get banned. Limited? 
yeah. yeah. So speaking of which, uh, so for Bear, just the one card, uh, Red Hot Dragon, Archfiend, Calamity, No Tourney, Skippy Dude. Not a leak. We are getting Centurions. <laughs> yeah, but almost definitely. Although some decks are able to do it already. It's very annoying. Did they, have they released the Hot Red Structure deck? It's been out for ages. Yeah, ban that shit. Slap it down. Uh, limited, Snake Eyes Ash. Oh. And wanted Sinful speak, Seeker of Spoils. Look, I guess they listened to us last week and went, okay, oh, you want to do it at Highlander? All right, you're doing it forever. Oh, no. Uh, add two Effect Veiler and a Ghost Bell. Mm-hmm. Mm, you probably want... Put in one more copy of Oak. And a Melodious Engine. Yeah, back to two Oaks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, Melodious would be nice about now. That's still so far away. Yeah. Um, what do you reckon we get first? Fiendsmith or Melodious? Taking all bets. Oh, Melodious. Fiendsmith. It's got the Fiendsmith. But I can I see them just Melodious. cranking that out early. Just be like, mm, get it out, get it out, get it out, get it out. We're going to be this fast. Get it out, get it out. Well, they did that with Tear. They brought in everything early because that seemed to be the fan favourite. They did it with Snake Eyes. So you're thinking that Fiendsmith is the next likely candidate. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's character. They're going to write the whole storyline around him and everything. Yeah, he'll get his own solo mode. He'll be hanging out with Ecclesia. <laughs> anyway, uh, semi-limited Sprite Jet. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, is that up or a down? I think down. that's down. Okay. And then no longer on the list, we have Blackwing Steam the Cloak, Performer Power Monkey Board, Right of Aramisir, and Engage. Engage. Yeah, likely that they're going to bring in the Sky Striker support. Because I think, does the OCG have all of the, the nonsense yet? Mm-hmm. Okay. Nonsense or monstery? They're both. Uh, <laughs> Which you don't really... You I don't, don't that Ghosty Monster. You don't need Engage. I mean, I've said this a few times. Like The, the fuck? What do you mean you don't need We don't need Engage at three, because... Yeah, the it's new a brick. Li- the, it's like the only one that's not. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you open three of it and you just don't have enough to search. Because you're just playing the one hornet drones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the new yeah, the the new the new link searches it so well mills it and then you can just add it back. Like so, any two cards are engage anyway, so you don't really need the three. But then it just give us three anyway. Oh, uh, we'll be playing against sky strikers on the ladder for a bit. Yeah, I hate that. I hate, I hate sky strikers. It's so annoying. Just play Warrior Elimination. <laughs> They're not Warriors on board. What? One of them is. Yeah. Two of them are. Oh no, quick effect. <laughs> Make it a machine. Yeah, then you got to run System Down. Yep, and then she triggers Engraved to bring yourself back. Anyway, redundant conversation. Um, just play Lightning Storm, then you don't have to worry about any of it. Mm-hmm. Like Moving on. Like uh, so for the upcoming uh, WCS. <laughs> anyway, uh, for the upcoming WCS, uh, the electronic games are getting some promo information. Yeah. Uh, so some cool for YouTube videos. Duel Links and Rush Duels, they get stuff which I don't really know what it is or care. I played it. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Uh, and then for Master Duel, they get a Royal Rare copy of the Neo Galaxy Eyes Prime Photon, uh, an icon of such, God. and up to a thousand gems. What do you mean? What do you mean? You need a thousand, thousand gems? Weak. Did you watch the OCG video of this? Or, no. like, yeah, I think you left you when we one? started watching them. Uh, oh, that might be the TCG one now. That might be the English version. OCG one was great. Yeah, the OCG one had that and then had like uh, three of them sitting around a table talking. No, you were here for that. Oh, uh, yeah, I was here for the start of that. Yeah, I yeah. don't know what Konami thinks people want to watch people talk about Yu-Gi-Oh around a table. We it. need to reenact world championships from the past. Yeah, and then they went through all the winning decks and... Yeah, yeah, and I had to wait ages for them to get onto Agents. Woo! Agents. You should have seen how happy Jake was when I pulled Agents in Duel Links. I was very happy. He pulled Master Hyperion and Agent of Mystery. I was like, I'm ruined. I'm you never going to gonna financially recover from this. <laughs> you went to the Speed Jewel world? Ew. That's full. I think he had to for whatever uh, thing he was claiming. I had a thing claiming. flashing at me saying, free, 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 oh, free. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, i got to click everything that's free because this game is not going to give me anything else after this. Such changing worlds and everything. Oh, my God. Um, 
Yeah, the promos are alright, and then they've announced like the, the paths for Duel Links to get to Worlds, which is the same as usual. You've got to just hit top of ladder a few times and get... Is Rush Tools going to be a part of it? Yeah. Rush Tool Worlds? Yeah. Everyone loved that. Yeah, so I'm not sure. If the, I'm not sure if the card game. I have to look it up. I'm sure they will do Rush Tour Worlds there, but they'll be playing in Seattle. Is Rush Tour Worlds even really Rush Tour Worlds? It's just the Asian Championships. Yeah, Worlds. So yeah, that's, they'll probably go a little bit in the Duel Links angle for it because that's the only you know. Well, that's the only one that's been announced. Like you've got these two here. One's for Rush Tour. One's for Link World. Mm. Um, this is all starting as of the 7th as mm. well, so uh, get ready for that. Uh, also, in Master Duel, we have a new oh, solo it mode. Yet. Hmm? No, more free stuff yet. coming. Yeah! Uh, so, we get a new solo mode, uh, Naturia. This one is unique Ugh. in the fact that they actually gave the new support for Naturia, the, um, the flower and the bug and the quick play spell. But, but didn't they get that like a year ago? Yeah, yeah, it's been in Master Duel for a while, but generally yeah. with the solo modes, they stick to, like, oh, the, the old, very oh, okay. early support. I think you meant they put the stuff in, I was like... No, 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 the stuff's been there for ages, but when they come to the solo modes, they only go by the support that was available at the time of release. Yep. So it makes it really painful. Whereas this one, they're like, no, Naturi is too crap to play on its own, so we will give you the new stuff. In theory, Naturi Beast Face is right about here, and that is a good reminder to fuck you, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, normal rewards uh, The 200 gems for completing with your own deck um, And there are some assets So you've got the Leo Drake sleeves You've got the Leo Drake icon And there's a new mate of uh, Whatever this is Nateria Leaf Ball That's a pigment I mean, it looks very much like that, yes But for legal reasons, no <laughs> I mean, that's all. Just kind of, like that's fucking. That's all the is, really. This motherfucker looks like the lion Leo from Drake. Wizard of Oz. It's Leo Drake. That doesn't look anything you? like Scaredy Lion. He looks like he's scared. Uh, also, Scaredy Lion's not the lion from the shit. Wizard of Oz. They're completely independent IPs. True. He's actually Chewbacca. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there's a uh, Naturia Leo Drake icon surround. That's heaps cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. Actually, when you pair it with the Leo Drake yeah, yeah. icon, it like kind of matches up. Do you reckon yeah. it closes in enough of the border to get rid of the white? Yeah, no. So. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah. Surely it's going to c- crop that. The the ash one was like I all over I, one. I don't know if it does. Well, you don't You'll have to get it to find out, Dave. <laughs> Give us a review. Well, I've already got them. I just won't be putting them on at any point We whatsoever. should do 10 second reviews of Yu-Gi-Oh decks. Comment below if you want that. You probably don't want to hear this, so I'm going to say it. Uh, MBT already does that. What? Oh. He does uh, story reviews of decks for decks that he doesn't want to actually have to test. Is that 10 seconds long? TikTok well, content? It's TikTok level, yeah. Fuck. I mean, it would just be us doing the content we've already done. Yeah. But shorter. Can't, anyway, can't I hate MBT it. so much. <laughs> yeah. Copies our ideas that are just easy to do. <laughs> <laughs> How dare he grab fruit from the low-hanging branches. Those are our branches. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have some Ooh. upcoming uh, product news for 2024 here uh, for the TCG. Mm. So uh, we have more spoilers for the OTS. So we knew about the head of Exodia for reasons that no one really understands it more either. Uh, likelihood is that uh, we're getting Herald, or uh, no, Diviner of the Herald and Snake Eyes Ash as ultis in the upcoming OTS 25. Uh, and then probably a super uh, Viking Island, although it'd be fucking hilarious if it was common again. And the... Uh, I can't remember. It's the Fiend Infernoid Smith? token. Oh, I'll take the Infernoid token, but I would have liked if it was a Fiendsmith token. So these three ultis, what does everybody want? Diviner. Head. <laughs> no head. We got there. Um, Diviner would be a really nice ulti. Do you reckon they'll do the other limbs as supers, or do you reckon they'll do the limbs pieced out as ulties? I hope. Or that... do you reckon they'll release one set and forget about it? 
that last one. Oh. Um, I hope that they make all the other pieces super except the left leg. I want left leg to be common. Yeah, it'll be like right. Ash all over again. Other Ash. Not this <laughs> no, Ash got. Not this Ash. Yeah. This Ash got the love. Um, so I brought this up before, but at some point, Ash probably has to be addressed mm-hmm. in part of the Snake Eyes mm-hmm. reduction. What if they just ban Flame Burst? They could do that, but that kills the deck. But also, I mean, that's the... there's other stuff you can do. Ben is there? Some of the Floodgate lady. Oh, DBLs. Yeah. yeah. It's good enough. If we're good enough, people will be doing that as well as what they're already doing. I would be doing it in my deck, except I don't have the cards. I mean, if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't it's, possibly source them. Okay. I had them. Shut up. I considered it and was like, nah. <laughs> I'm just going to keep playing two Flame Burge. Uh, so, there, I think I remember seeing a date for this, but apparently it's not. But it's releasing it this month uh, for everywhere but Australia. We'll so get in three months' time. Every, everybody else enjoy it. Um, as for uh, the upcoming Battles of Legend, uh, these cards will all be coming in Ultra. Uh, which is basically the boss monster of each of the terminal law archetypes, plus the blue eyes fusion that's like a once a thing to get for spell trap monsters. I'm intrigued by that Ultras. purely because is this an ultra super set? Well, it's Battles of Legend. Didn't there used to be secret ultra sets though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry. There's an update from the last time I read this. Oh. Uh, they These actually seem to be quarter century rares. Oh. They were initially mistakenly reported as ultra rares, owing to the image quality. So thank you for putting out uh, low res images for us all to enjoy, Konami. Good work, Dre. I appreciate that. He thought it was high res, but that's in because his tie was reflecting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything he looks at with his gold tie, that brilliant gold tie. It's a good looking gold tie. It's Me. not even gold, it's piss yellow. <laughs> With his first stand up. How dare you talk bad about that? <laughs> With his first stand up at Wireless. Glorious well, gold. That, um, it's not gold. He's a champion. That wireless camera was struggling. But keep at it. We appreciate the, the production values. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, Sorry, it's meant to be a question at the end of that values. It was to do <laughs> yeah. values. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, if these are all getting uh, QCRs, then likelihood is they will be secret in the set as well, which is nice. Yes. Um, it's still going to be a mad dash. People that want that before Oceanics, though. Yeah, because it's releasing the week before, right? Yes. Ooh. Releases the Thursday, and we. Do you really think people are going to pivot that hard from Snake Eyes just pure to Snake Eyes Infinity or whatever Infinity? it is? That uh, people also want the Ritual Beast stuff. That's a fairly good deck. Um, also, Gen X. I was going to say, are we getting any Gen X gamers? Surely, Gen X gamers. And then there'll be at least one uh, Ice Barrier player. Hi, Kurt. He does want it for his sprite. Yeah, he wants it for thingy, yeah? Yeah. He wants to play Ice Barrier Sprite. Ice Sprite. Josh's favourite beverage. And Logan's. And Logan's. <laughs> when he doesn't leave. Congratulations to yes. team member. Oh, Logan. yes. Uh, uh, Logan got married yesterday. He did. So you've never seen him on the podcast again. Yes, if you look back <laughs> into the uh, the abyss of content on this channel. He's on there every now and then. He's there. But yeah, won't be here for a while. But congratulations to Logan and his new wife. Um, oh, I pressed the wrong thing. Fine. Uh, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. There's news. more links, more links. I'm going to have to cut a lot of things there. Uh, so, uh, we get a new bit of support announced for Exodia, uh, in the Animation Chronicle deck. Uh, it's an equip card. I don't fully understand what its purpose is or what it's for. Now I'm curious, Jake. Uh, so the equip monster cannot attack or be tributed. Its effects are also negated. Oh, it's, um, wait, this isn't Exodia. This is, this is, um, Bakura's cards, isn't it? Isn't that the thing he ties up, um... It's in the when I searched this card, uh, that name rather, because it's always treated as a Wedgu card, yeah, yeah, it yeah. came up well, with the Exodia stuff. Well, yeah, well, the other, there is a Wedgu in Exodia, but I guess it's just because it ties to, you know, Bakura's also. What does the old art Egyptian. law tell us? Uh, the art. What's well, him tying up um, Lord of D? Yeah, Lord of D is getting strapped to a wall. Is he strapping in or strapping on? 
Uh, both. Probably. He's being strapped on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, that's a good point. Strap on that angle is not going to do anyone any favors. Uh, once per turn, if the controller of the equi- if you control the equipped monster, add a wedge you card from your deck to your hand, except oh, for grief tablet. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard because the equipped monster was destroyed, you can inflict five hundred damage to your opponent. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if like he also searches millennium cards, so millennium items, so yeah, he would search for millennium cards too. Perhaps. Uh, but anyway, it's a random card, and I don't care for it. Uh, and then lastly, we get some naming updates for the Infinite Forbidden. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Millennium Unk is now what it's called. I can't remember what it was meant to be called before. Millennium Cross. Well, uh, I mean, it was called Cross. Well, that's it could right. have been Key because that's what. I know, I just, I that's, that's no, right. I think it. I think that legitimately was. Uh, so Millennium Unk yeah. uh, show five. Oh, we know the effect. Um, but it's also been revealed that that will be the promo, I believe, yeah, for which means the it's a Infinite rare. Forbidden. Yeah. yeah, that's awful. One secret rare, Paul. <laughs> uh, so moving Milter on. Will be nice though. Uh, for our upcoming WCQs, we have uh, mats announced. Uh, they were originally going to be the Tempai Field spell. No more Gonski. Uh, what we'll be getting in Oceania, Oceania instead. Uh, for entry, you'll be getting this lovely Vanquish Soul mat, uh, which features at least one monster that Ben didn't know didn't know existed. Yeah. What's her name? Um, Penelope. It's close, Pantera. Not racist. Uh, yeah, the question mark. It's he funny because they're racist. They're either racist or dead. What? Pantera. Uh, but if you are lucky enough to top the event, the mat that you'll be getting in addition to this, Infinite Impermanence. Yeah looks real nice i missed the before times the long long ago where the entry mat was the legacy card and the top cut mat was the relevant card of the format yeah i know but well the last time you went to new zealand it was nibiru it was fucking great yeah, i wish i could have that is gorgeous yep. um the imper mats are right you'll find i really out. like it yeah I, i'm not too you... big on it because it's imperm no lucky imperm I don't, I'm not particularly big on the art of Imperm. Really? No. It is a bit much on a playmat. Is it How so? I, I, like, there's a I lot don't of understand. empty space. Yeah, because the card only goes to there. Yeah. Yeah. You've got some lightning strikes, you've got some flitting little bitties of... You could have had, this like, dude. I don't know, something dying. Well, I mean... The... Cyberdragon Infinity's dying. Well, is it's it? being negated. Well, it's about to die then. I thought the attack of it was infinite impermanence. Hmm? I thought its attack was called infinite impermanence in the anime. I don't think so. It doesn't have. It's not th- in the anime. I thought it yields attack with infinite impermanence when Cyber Dragon attacks or something like that. Well, you thought it was like it's white lightning. Yeah. You know what? It would make actually. It, that actually makes sense. That is, it's, it's. Oh, it might be in. Um, if I'm right, the tell manga. me in the Discord. The manga. Yeah, or our Spotify. You comments. rarely check it. <laughs> I don't check it because I like to be surprised for the questions. Asking in general. I, I just tried to segue to the questions and she didn't take it. It's because we have more news, Ben. More news? We haven't, even yeah. t- we haven't talked about YCS yet. Yeah, we have the uh, decks at the start of round nine for YCS. Not YCS, wasn't it? Minneapolis. That one. Minneapolis. Minneapolis. Minnesota. I wonder if that'll yes. get us demonetized. What, trying to say Minneapolis? Yeah. I dropped a nipple in there. Mini nipple. Maybe that's what it'll take for us to get demonetized. Maybe I have to show my nipple. Anyway. Who can truly win <laughs> a championship in off. Minnesota? We'll find out. So, uh, for Snake Eye, actually, Jesse Ventura. are these percentages? Bam, 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 like, is that 22? That's, that's, how many decks, that's how many decks are left. Left? Yeah, there, a lot of people low. kind of stopped playing. Really? Okay, so apparently there was uh, 22 X, they probably snake eyes. X2 only, I don't know. I don't mean, you guys got the stats. I don't know. I don't know, but like, it would make sense if this was percentage. That's definitely not top We should have questioned this before. This we got we got to start doing, we got to do a pre-show. Um, but yeah, um, let's just say that this is representation. So from highest to lowest, we have Snake Eye, 
Tempod Dragon, Voiceless Voice, uh, Flandries and Cash Tira Snake Eyes tied. Uh, Snake Eyes, uh, Tempai Dragon, hey. Labyrinth, uh, Branded Voiceless Voice, Runic, and Snake Eyes Alan Gray, all also having similar, if not the same numbers. Snake Eyes. I wonder what the Snake Eyes Alan. I wonder if the Salmon Grass just the starters. I feel like it just does all the salad things and then just goes uh, bonfire, search, poplar, poplar, do thing. Yeah. It's like, oh, you stopped everything? Ah, you ash the, you ash my main salad card? Now. I play Snake Eyes. You sunk my battleship. It feels a bit Mech Knight invokey in that, like, there's cards that align, but they're not, like, super synergistic with each other. Hmm. So then you just draw all of them. You just brick on one yeah, or the other. Yeah, you just see one engine <clears throat> or the other engine. So, Melodious Snake Eyes, did you have any all Melodious hands today? Yes. Yeah. Didn't matter. Oh, I saw that hand too. Yeah. Oh, of course. It no, was, them, sorry. It was yeah. Ostinato double refrain, and I was like, Ostinato send both from hand. <laughs> Nice. It's just such a good card. It was pretty rough. I was like, whoa. I didn't Ooh. think we'd get to the day where we'd have Melodious being like the go to engine. It's so bastard. You can make Beatrice send the spell card that I didn't, Ben's been working with. Yeah, I didn't think. I didn't think it would be um, such a yeah, prevalent yeah. engine. Like, I knew Melodious would have its time in the sun because it's, you know. Ah. Mm, uh, you want to take it against the one test? But yeah, I wonder <laughs> what other... I wonder what other cards are... Oh, three, four cards away from being a, an, a splashable engine. Which would just be in and of itself. You gotta, I mean, you gotta use the one old card. They need to have a fusion spell that fuses from deck without a restriction. <laughs> to yeah. go into other cards that... That also is in one special and if it gets negated. But they could just print... So what could you give a fusion spell from deck? That's something we'll have to, that's something we'll think about. Cyber dragons. Uh, give them a fusion that summons back from grave, and a fusion spell that summons from deck. So, I don't know, you just send core and well, cyber already, dragons. They already have a, a fusion spell that recycles from grave. They already have that. They mm -hmm. So they would deck. just need a brand of You're fusion. One the other. They just need a brand of fusion. Yeah. That doesn't lock them into fusions because their best cards in exist. But a fusion that also summons from deck. And grave, just give them. I feel like that then breaks every dragon. archetype. If you give every archetype a fusion that sends and summons from yes. deck, yeah. If you give everyone Barker, yeah, yeah. Yes. If everyone gets a Barker, everyone becomes amazing. Yes. However, do it. <laughs> do it. Um, but yeah, at least not mentioned in here. There's no mention of Melodious, which is disappointing. I don't even know what that is. There's no mention of you. Minneapolis. It's definitely not top 32. Yeah. Unless be. it's just the theoretical top 32 decks currently in the room. I don't know. I can't be, where did these stats come from? Their page. The Dutch. Wait, who's their page? Konami's blog. The, the event coverage blog. Okay. They should have given more context. Anyway. Um, I imagine they did. I just copied and pasted the image. <laughs> it's only around 9 of 12. Yeah. Oh, speaking of images, something I didn't bring up last week. Uh, new uh, policy for Konami, if um, I'm sure everyone's aware of it already. Uh, but they have put a further restriction on the types of products that you can use in higher tier events. That you're now only allowed to use plain or Konami licensed uh, sleeves and mats. Legal. Legal. Illegal. Yeah, Unless you flip it over. Like, I'm taking... It's still not a solid colour if you flip it over. What do you mean it's not a solid color? It's all black. There's gray in here. No, that's that's going to count, I reckon. Someone's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, someone definitely went there with a boober mat and had to flip her face down. I'm sure of it. No. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting policy update. And the more interesting thing is that they actually gave us a reason for it. It's because everyone wanted to see Raiden's abs. Why was this never censored? Tell us, Jerome. It'll be a Because Shredder Give us some wisdom. <laughs> Shredder calm. dudes is okay. Look yeah. at Wolf. Oh, shit. Oh. So many furries have become things <laughs> because of Wolf. <laughs> Open and live destruction and be like, oh. Oh, what is this? I need to go to my room. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought it was interesting <laughs> that they'd actually given justification for the change as opposed to just releasing the change and being like, deal with it. What was the justification? 
uh, that they felt the judges were spending too much time clarifying uh, what does and doesn't constitute lewd material yeah. and they want to save time on yeah. those types of calls. Fair enough. It's just to end my sponsorship with yourplaymat.com, enter code Nolan10YP. I don't know, I haven't had to say those words in years. Uh, so, a couple of clarifications that I'm aware of. Um, one, uh, spell grounds aren't affected by this. Apparently, spell grounds are generally plain enough to be considered plain. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then the other thing was um, that it's still okay at a local level to run whatever you want. Yeah, it's just, it's but you, you mean you still can't play lewd mats? Yeah, don't do that. That's still a policy. Um, it's it's just funny that they had to bring in a further justification from last year because you clearly had someone going, uh, actually, uh, she isn't showing her nipples. So, <laughs> like, just some. She's asshole. actually an ancient being, and that's where <laughs> she talks from. It's so bad. It's it's the fucking Metal Gear Solid Five logic of. She's only wearing that because she has to breathe through her skin. <laughs> uh, that's, so, le that's legitimately the logic in Metal Gear Solid 5, by the way. Literally never played. Okay. Moving on. Uh, we have some questions in our Discord. If you weren't aware, our link for the Discord will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in and say hi um, and click your notifications because this is painful to look at. Um, first question this week comes <laughs> to us from uh, Rickelodeon. Ever fall in love with the deck after thinking it was crap during its release? Uh, he went from disliking Magikey uh, to wanting uh, bedsheets depicting the law. Okay, Jake. I didn't say that. I've never wanted Alba's bedsheets. Oh, come on. No. I would. No. That would be hilarious. Not even um, bedsheets that were the drapes of the dogmatic cathedral? No. See, I know the law. Um, <laughs> but apparently, yeah, he's having a great time at locals playing Punk Magic Key. Oh, yeah. Uh, I Valmonicas are jumping out to me. I've never really thought much of them, but the more I see, the more I'm like, well, they're kind of cool. There's, oh, no, there's no deck on release me? that you were like, this deck sucks, and then... Um, no. Well, maybe Pearly. When Pearly came out, I was like... Eh. And then later I was like, it was actually pretty fun. Yeah. Um, f for me, it was Mech Knights. Mech Knights, are Mech Knights on... on release, but the issue, or the reason for it rather, was that they were like pretty much exclusively being played with Trickstar at the time. Oh, yeah. So Trickstar stained them somewhat. And then eventually I was like, you know what? I can get behind these psychic dudes. I can normal summon Alistair and Link 1. <laughs> I should prefer it more pure than in the invoked build. I can hand loop. I mean, I still haven't hand looped. Even though I have prosps. <gasps> That's what I can play this week. You got prosps now? Yeah. Okay. God. I <laughs> am going to be playing some jank ass shit on Tuesday if my mail comes in time. Wait, how did you have oh, prosps? Yeah. Hmm? How didn't you have prosp? Because uh, no one would loan them to me. He needed to be prepared in case anyone ever wanted to um, verse his Dragon oh. Maid deck. I also so played would... Prosp a lot since it came out. That but... card is very much worth the money for yes, me. Yes, however, the reasoning you gave me is that I need to be prepared at any moment because someone might burst into my room and demand that I play Dragon Maid. Yes. That was exactly the reasoning you gave me. I know what you people uh, And then like. Blake said he would loan me his set. And then stop playing you <laughs> Oh, so we're talking about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. This we're, was a while Yeah, we were ago. talking about the last six months. No, no, no. no. Where, I've, where, I've had them for the last six yeah, months. Yeah, okay. I'm like, oh, if this has been the last six months, I was like, you everything okay? Hi, Rickolidium, by the way. Hi. Uh, next question comes to us from 6 r 6 uh, Has the current competitive format lost some of its draw because Oceanics is in New Zealand again and earning an invite isn't as usable? Yes. Yeah. yeah. It did make me kind of stop caring about the regionals, but then... They announced yeah. the Tenpai map. They, then they announced Tenpai map. And, like, and then they took it away. I'm probably going to go. <laughs> and they took it away. And I was like... Mm. Oh, God, that's so funny. Fucking versus me. <laughs> um, yeah, it definitely lost uh, a lot of appeal for me because, yeah, just the... I think it got announced relatively late that it was in New Zealand or at least, like, the time frame of when it would be in New Zealand yeah, was, was like, late. So I wasn't able to book the time off work. And also I didn't have an invite by that point, so I didn't want to book time off work and then not get an invite. Yeah. Like I am right now. 
because of Ben. I mean, if Jake had just said that he wanted his invite, I would have not lost on purpose. But <laughs> I would have continued to play other games whilst dueling Jake and maybe not play the best attention. <laughs> Uh, next question comes to us from Will Shifter. You, uh, do you think the gimmick puppet support is too much? And if so, how badly do you think it will affect the TCG? Gimmick puppet support? Sorry, my brain was too busy thinking of. Do you think the gimmick Perhaps. puppet support yep. will be too much? Well, I don't it's, think so at all. It weirdly isn't doing anything in the OCG, and I'm like, because hmm, they don't do that much FTKs. Yeah, but like, like if you the, give us the access to an FTK, at the YCS, we will play the though, fuck out of an like, FTK. YCS is for them are normally just FTK central. Like three of the ten YCS has been won by FTK. So like, I expected it to be very prevalent at that event, and it wasn't at all. I'm wondering whether or not they just still have the rank up magic spell banned. Maybe, which is a question, um, inquisitorial question. Yeah, I, I, I oh, couldn't tell you a few weeks away from their next ban list too. Exciting. Oh. Yeah, there'd have to be a reason why, because I, I haven't really thought much of them. Like, obviously, the stream's been plugging it all day. Every time there was some nightmare going, oh, and the gimmick puppets are coming out. It's like, this isn't... Okay, Drew. Yeah, we're... I appreciate you. No, we're here for, we're here for Albaz. Get out. Full brand. Um, yeah, I don't think they're going to do that much. They just have more choke points and they can brick a little bit. So... Yeah, I suppose one of the things with it too is like it Which is most only an FTK. That is That's all it does. It can't like set up negates. It can't you can set up do destruction. One negate. Which negate? I don't know. I just made that part up. No, I don't. I I'm do sure not think something. there's a single thing that negates anything in. You probably makes well, can, Yeah, I was going to say they can make. Hope you can't do anything other than gimmick puppets. I'm sure there's a way to not lock yourself. Yeah, you do. I'm sure, yeah. I'm sure the full it line... It to be... Re- yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, the line which you're winning the game with, you can't spit out the negate. But yes. if you have bricked, there's ways to kind of pivot. At which oh, point, I'm like, sure there's just, other ways to play. Like, it, by the time you brick, just, like... Just give up. Yeah. Summon Sanctified Put, Dragon. Give me Puppet in the bin. Um, Crobat 5. And then, re- then bring it back. Crobat V. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So he's getting back into the game after taking a long break. Hey! And wanted to know why? if his Lyra- <laughs> his Lyraloos Tri deck would be good in this format or whether he should just play Branded. Yeah, I actually think it'll work. Like, the Lost Tri has not really had anything happen. To it has it. a lot I, of extenders. I just also don't think that, like, a Banish and a Solemn is. Oh, it's enough to beat Snake Eyes. You banish the Ash when they summon it, gets the body off board. They don't have a way to send to, yeah, to pick else. up your OTS packs and stuff and play at locals. Go for it. Yeah. Like, yeah, as a fun deck, I would definitely pick Lulu's try over Branded because Branded gets real boring real quick. Depends if you're puppet locking people. Yeah, not really. Even no, without I'm just, puppet. I'm just saying if he's playing puppet lock Branded, then then that's probably the better deck. But Lyra Lost try. I'm sure it's fun enough. Welcome back, Crobat V. Uh, he has another question for us. Uh, what Top do you three. think of running debunk in your main or side deck no. to stop your opponent's monster effects? I no. wish. There's better ways to yeah. say no. no. I, I wish. I, I do love debunk. But no, it's... It's always been a meme card that sits in one of my binders. That and rebound. They both just sit in my binder. It's like one day there'll maybe be a time when this is useful. One day my counter fairy deck will be live. That time's getting <laughs> further and further away as traps get worse and worse. <laughs> I got debunked on Valkyrus back in the day. Yeah, count. Okay. Yes. Uh, the. Oh, the Negati battle yeah, thingy. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. And I was like, why? <laughs> That's the other time it's ever been played against me. But that does conclude us for this week. Thank oh. you. Oh, I thought Crow 5 had three questions. No, 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 no. Someone replied to his question, you see. One, two, three. Oh, I did miss a question. I know. My bad. Uh, with new support slash reprints for Drytron coming in Infinite Forbidden, uh, do you think the deck will see play again and possibly top cut events? Mm. Uh, yeah, seeing play now. Voiceless voice Drytron is a thing. I don't think we'll see play at all, mainly because I'm not going to read the cards and wouldn't know if I lost to it. <laughs> yeah. It might be played and won't be seen, though. 
I was like, oh, there's blue cards here. Hmm. <laughs> I don't see Drytron. Yeah. I wonder how you got here. Did Norm summon Diviner? Must have. <laughs> Must have. I don't know what that does. I'll negate that. I'm not gonna negate <laughs> you have any. extenders after that? Don't care. Don't want to know. <laughs> I'll just scoop. You can tell me that it makes me the space pope, but I'd still be like, <laughs> mm, I don't know, man. I, I, I would read it, but it says Drytron at the top, so I'm not. <laughs> what an obscure reference. You can tell me it makes me the space pope. Jesus Christ. I'm going to make that edit. Uh, but that concludes us for this week. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. If you are watching along, feel free to like and subscribe. If you're listening, feel free to favourite. Jump to our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Give us a rating of five on Spotify, please. Yes, please. And please. iTunes. And also keep asking questions. Oh, there's a little bit of a mailbag building up of some not, some cool comments. We'll get to them. Uh, the poll previous, uh, everyone got that right about the old mate not being in the legendary collection. Not legendary collection, rarity collection. The car that we're all talking about, that Titan Dragon. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone got it right. I was wrong. <laughs> uh, by everyone, I mean 66%. Which could be everyone. Goodbye. Peace. Five stars.